hello everyone i've decided that i'm going to start trying to do uh, separate videos for some of the games instead of only doing them on stream because otherwise it will just take 100 percent too long so i've decided to start doing some recordings because that way i can also uh sort of control how many games are in a video instead of like a couple videos where there have been like three games in one because it's on a stream so i just want to go for as long as i can or at least two hours but uh, this will just be however long the game is, and hopefully it makes the videos a little bit easier to digest also, because a lot of these first games from Nano Reno are quite short. Uh, the first one, I think, was like 30 minutes. Uh, I was able to download three other games from the first Nano Remo Reno. There was uh, there were six total, one of them led to an angel fire page which was super duper defunct and another one just wouldn't let me download it for some reason i found it on the um renai site and on the developer's personal site and neither one would let me download it even though the download was there it was just my computer refusing to do it so uh this is when i rule the world it is from the very first nano reno uh, and it refuses to fit 100% into my screen, so we might have some cut off here because I can't get it to work right. And it refuses to let me resize the page, but if I go into full screen, then I can't go and adjust the size in OBS, so it's fun. Let's get started. There's also no sound in this one. And this is formatted so weird. My name is Selena, and I've been chosen to be the future ruler of the world. I might look like an ordinary schoolgirl to some, but soon, every person in every nation will bow to me. When the agency rise to power, they have chosen me as the one to sit in ultimate command of the new world order. This is fucking ominous. Mine will be a just reign, and the world's nations will prosper. The, war the wars and international disputes will be swiftly and firmly ended as the agency usher in the golden age of world history. With me at its throne. I kind of love this art. It looks like those old, um, the how to draw manga books. <laughs> like, it looks 100% copied from that by someone who, like, would be the age demographic to have those. So, like, elementary school. But it's, like... And I'm, I don't want to say that's bad. Like, the one thing I don't want to do is shit on these games. Uh, like, the old games, especially for being bad, in com quote unquote, in comparison to the newer games, which are a lot more polished. Because there's, sometimes it's not just one person doing it, it's a whole team doing it. And a lot of these, I think, the older ones were just one person, and it was probably their first game, or one of their first games. So it's like, I don't want to say that oh, they're bad, just because the art might have improved over the years, and the developers have definitely improved over the years if they're still doing this. It's really just because, like, seeing where you've been and where you are as an artist or game developer or whatever is so incredible and amazing, and I love seeing how people have grown. And honestly, like, seeing art that's like this is so nostalgic. <laughs> it's great, and I love it. With me at its throne. I look at myself in the mirror. My regal bearing satisfies me. Currently, one still has to mentally substitute in imperial robes in place of the school uniform, but that will change soon enough. I practice my wave, a gentle movement of the hand in acknowledgement of some general or politician swearing allegiance and obeisance to me. Obeisance? Do they mean obedience, or am I an idiot? Because that does look like a word that I vaguely know, but it doesn't look quite like a word that I think it might be if it's not obedience. Selena, you'll be late for school. I mutter under my breath. No, I won't. I'm always in control of time. She's so fussy. Wait, do we actually have time superpowers? Nevertheless, I wouldn't. it wouldn't do to irritate her too much. So I call down. I'm coming, mother. Oof. Chrono Luminaire presents When I Rule the World. This is slightly off-center, which is a little bit 
My mother drives me to school. It's faintly embarrassing, but if anyone sees me, I content myself with the knowledge that they will all eventually kneel in homage to me. Homage. Homage. I put a D there on accident. <laughs> she doesn't know that I'm going to rule the world. I've wondered many times what she'll think when she finds out. I'm pretty sure she'll be proud. She always hoped that our family would succeed and go up in the world, and since I'm an only child, it's only on me that her hopes can rest. She has no idea how true her wish will come. I arrive at school for the start of another week of the same old stuff. These days, I do well at school. I remember the teachers were very pleased with the first exam results after I realized the agency wanted me well-educated. They thought they'd succeeded in their... And this is where it kind of cuts off on my screen, so I'm going to try to read it on the other screen. <laughs> in their efforts to motivate me. I didn't bother to dis disillusion them. I make my way to the desk at the edge of the classroom. My classmates move out of my way without meeting my eyes. I don't have much to talk about. I don't have much to talk to them about, so I don't bother them, and they don't bother me. It's an arrangement that works for us all. Naturally, I don't learn everything a ruler needs here, and so I do a lot of reading on my own at home on subjects like politics. My parents are pleased that I study so much, so it all works. I just joked a little bit on my own tongue. This character seems very hoity, and I I don't like her very much. She's, she's not like the protagonists that we've had for the recent games. But in the meantime, I do have a... I do have to vaguely pay attention in class to get the homework done, so I prepare myself for another humdrum school day. Hello, class. This morning I have a special announcement. I vaguely perk up my ears, hoping against hope that our normally deathly, deathly dull form period might have something of interest today. Somebody has been stealing chalk from the languages classroom. This disruptive... This is disruptive to studies, and the perpetrator, when caught, will... Oh no, this is off of every screen I have now. I can't read it at all. Oh no. I have to move this up a little bit. E will face several days' detention. Anyone with information should... Snore. Oh, no, that was uh, not a sound effect. That was me snoring. Or, not the teacher talking, saying snore. God damn it. <laughs> After a boringly easy day at school, I leave immediately, as always. As usual, I stop at a corner shop on the way home and buy the daily nas National Daily newspaper. Scanning the headlines eagerly, I note with disappointment that there's no front page mention of a world politics story. Just because I'm always on the lookout for events which might herald my rise to power, although there's that as well. But also because articles with the word world in the headline are how the agency communicate with me for everyday instructions. Back in my room, I pour over the newspaper. Nothing obvious so far. The agency have complete control over the national journalism, and so they hide messages for me in it. It's the safest way for them to communicate without raising suspicion. If they have complete control over, like, certain things, how do they not, like, over journalism? and the newspaper which would be the news that people get which is what they tend to believe how do they not have control and i mean is it just national news or is it like the world news because if they just control one country that's not controlling the world Okay, no, I'm not gonna not gonna try to get the logistics of this because they've chosen a schoolgirl as their overall overlord, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna judge. No letters for the postman or my parents to inquire about, no mysterious phone calls, no having to sneak into the school to leave messages for me there. Just subtly concealed code where nobody would look for it. Hmm, maybe something in this seemingly innocuous article about the world economic outlook. The usual checks are quick to confirm every third, fourth, fifth word, then letter, forward, and in reverse. Nothing out of the ordinary. I find nothing. That's okay, because often there's nothing. There's often nothing. They don't need to communicate with me every day, after all. How insecure a girl would have to, would have to be to need daily reassurance. Hardly material for an empress of the world. taking a 
sip of tea. But they do almost always hide some kind of message in the Tuesday paper, so I'll make sure to get one tomorrow, as I do every Tuesday. In the meantime, I guess I'll do my homework and the rest, and then read the rest of the day any day away. Or perhaps I'll allow myself to dream of Elitus. Who is Elitus? Okay, he is a frumpy man in a jacket. I cast my mind back to those dreamy days when Elitus came to my house once a week to teach me. And what teaching? Oh god, no, I don't want this to be that kind of romance. That's weird. Not just the history and geography that my parents called him in to teach, although he certainly succeeded in giving me an interest in the world as it is now and what other rulers have done in the past. But more supremely, sublimely more, he taught me of the agency. And that moment last year, I discovered what my 16 years had been lived for and, that, and what I would live for in the future. It changed my life completely. To discover the existence of this group, secretly manipulating events in world history with the aim of uniting it under one ruler, and to learn that I was the chosen one? Naturally, I started paying much more attention at school, and so my parents were delighted with Elitus. But after those two short months, he had to leave for another city. I stretch out on my bed, daydreaming. Will I ever see him again? Well, don't, don't be fallen for a man. Men suck. Okay, I just have to change the size of something on here, because otherwise it's too hard to read. There we go. That works. The next day. Hello, class. A chorus of bored voices replied out to her teacher. I steal myself for another session of wandering thoughts and what? Oh, I dropped her voice. Oops. <laughs> I steal myself for another wander session of wandering thoughts and what I'll do when I rule the world. I've got another special announcement for you. Two days in a row. More things have been stolen. How wonderful. Yeah, I'm sure. And there's, and there's a trench for a student joining our class. Takashi, come introduce yourself. A student stands up from a desk near the front and walks to the front of the classroom. I hadn't even noticed him until now, but he is a new face. Uh, hello everyone. I'm Takashi Tanaka. Does he have pink streaks in his hair, or is that just the color that they like shaded it with? Cause, I don't know. I'm kind of about pink streaks. <laughs> He, he looks over at our teacher and then walks back to his desk and sits down. Oh, well. So there's someone else in this group of people I don't care about. No big deal. If you don't care about them, you're not going to be a very good ruler because you should care about the people that you're overseeing. So you should try to, like, get a read of what it is that they want for the future and, like, you know... <laughs> You really are kind of an asshole, lady. I already forgot this character's name. But at lunchtime, he starts making a nuisance of himself. Hello. Why is he speaking to me? You're Selena, right? The rest of the class told me to ignore you. Perhaps I ought to let this boy know I'm not interested, or is it worth the bother? Why do they say that kind of thing about you? Ignore him and think of Elitus. Talk to him. Uh, you know what? I think we should talk to him, because we shouldn't be an asshole. I look him in the eyes for the first time and say, What do you want? He looks back unwaveringly and replies, To get to know you. To find out why everyone ignores you. I'm not that interested in talking to people, so I don't talk to them, and they don't talk to me. That is not my experience in high school. The more you were disinterested in everyone and everything that was going on around you, the more they were just like offended that you were disinterested in them and tried to get you interested. And it's like, go away. I don't want to talk to any of you. I just want to do what I'm doing, which was usually drawing or like reading because I was a dumb nerd in high school. And that was also why no one liked me because they'd... Anyway, this girl's kind of a bitch. 
Like, people would talk to her if she let them, but she's super rude to them. So that's why everyone is like, yeah, just ignore her. She's just gonna be rude to you if you try to talk to her, dude. They were trying to save this poor idiot. It'd be simpler for you if you did the same as them. But why don't you want to talk to people? I stifle the answer because I'll rule over you all one day and sit there in silence. Do you really dislike everyone that much? Dislike everyone? Hmm, it's unfortunate that my future subjects perceive me as disliking them. That's not a good situation for the Empress of the World to have to face. Perhaps I might have to change the way I deal with these people, like a crown princess taking an interest in her subjects-to-be. Oh, see, this isn't exactly the way I thought that you would should be going about it. Like, you shouldn't be feigning an interest in people. Honey, you have to not mess my mic up. Puck has been very annoying lately, so, um... Honey, you have to go. You have to get down from there. Puck has been super annoying all evening. But uh, feigning an interest is not the way to go. Like, you have to actually make meaningful connections with people. And even if you can't keep those connections, you're a high schooler. So most of the people that you know now and that you're super close with, you're not going to continue being close with. There might be a few people who you keep in contact with, but it's not going to be all of them. Sweetheart, you have to go. I don't know what Puck wants, but it's to be annoying, I think. But the difficulty is that they don't know I'm that I'm to be their ruler, and Elitus told me I shouldn't go telling people. Do you hate everyone? Do you hate me? Honey, you have to not play with that, please. I absently answer, no, I don't. How should I treat these ordinary, common people? How involved should I get with them? Then why? What? Why do you ignore everybody if you don't hate them? Um, I... How do I answer that? Puck, what are you doing? He really likes to be, like, somewhere that's... <laughs> he really likes to be somewhere that's, like, right in the way but enough out of the way that I'll stop moving him. The guy is looking at me like he's genuinely interested. I... He appears to give up. Um, never mind. Perhaps it's something that you should give some thought to, though. I'll talk to you later. Confused, I sit there as he walks away. After the brief conversation, I'm left feeling frustrated. Still, after school, I have the message from the agency to look forward to. I sit through the monotony of the afternoon lessons. Finally, school is over, and I collect together my stuff. In the corner shop, I buy the paper and quickly scan through it. Excellent. Several potential articles for, with, with, for the... Several potential articles for the message from the agency. Walking home quickly, I muse about what it'll be. I wonder if it's about Takeshi, I wonder if it's about Elitus. You know, so far... Okay, so we've got Mysterious Transfer Student and Mysterious Frumpy Man. I'm gonna go with that one. Because if we have, if we have to go with a male love interest and we have those two options, I'm going to go with the one that seems to be age-appropriate. I wonder if it's about Takeshi. And then I find myself wondering, why did I think that? I guess he'd be taking... I guess he's been taking quite a bit of interest in me, so it's only natural that he'd be on my mind. But if the agency were to mention him, what that would have to mean... But if the agency were to mention him, that would have to mean that he's relevant to my future. Is he a threat to their plans? Or even more excitingly, what if he's a contact for the agency himself? Eagerly, I flick to the first world article and begin examining, exam, examining the words and patterns used. I barely notice that I've arrived home. I just unlock the door and walk in, intent on the message that must be hidden in the newspaper somewhere. Hello, 
dear. Hi, Mother. It's good to see you taking an interest in the world around you. She chuckles, she chuckles indulgently, pleased that her diligent and studious daughter have become quite practiced at keeping my amusement well hidden, so I just give her a smile as I say I go up and say I, as I go upstairs. Thanks, Mother. Right, let's find this message. Sure enough, there's a message, hidden in the article titled, Pop Music's Taking Over the World. It was fairly easy to find, every ninth word going backwards from the end, as it, and it says, Chat with new boy, important contact. Honey, what are you doing? You know what, fine, you can play with that. I knew it, he's a contact, I have to get talking to him. I thought it was suspicious. A transfer student arriving in school at this point in the year? Arriving in my class, no less? What if the twist is going to be that this is all just in her head? It couldn't just be a coincidence, and I had a feeling that he would come up in a message today. Once again, my instinct for what the agency's messages will be is vindicated. Takashi Tanaka, what's your information? Why have you suddenly come into my life? Maybe it's to teach you to care about the people that you're supposedly going to rule over. Or maybe it's just to teach you a lesson about being a nicer person and he's your fairy godmother. I'll get to know you and find out the truth. I can't tell if this means that this is Takeshi speaking, or if it's just him in the corner. <laughs> I walk into the classroom, recognizing my new classmates from yesterday. Okay, I think it is him. Ready for another day of getting to know these people who I'll be studying with from now on. I can already associate some personalities with faces. There's Anna, the loud one, Lisa, the teacher's pet, Jake, the thuggish guy. I don't have any great desire to get to know any of them better. And Selena, the mysterious, angry girl. There's definitely something different about her. She came across as arrogant yesterday, but I'd like to find out more about the way she thinks. Although, she didn't seem to want to talk to me much yesterday, so maybe I don't have much of a chance of getting to know her. She looks up as I walk to my desk. Her expression, while not exactly friendly, might not be as hostile as yesterday. We'll have to see come break time. The lunch bell rings, and a number of the class immediately dash off towards the canteen. The canteen? The cafeteria? I'm not one of them, nor, I notice, is Selena. Good, I'll try to chat to her later. In the meantime, I'll try to get to know a few of the other guys. Hey, Takeshi! Huh? She's coming up to talk to me? I wasn't expecting that. Do you want to have lunch together? I double-take. A few of the rest of the class are looking stunned as well. But she continues, unshaken. I'd like to talk to you. Okay. We sit down in the school field with our lunches. It's autumn, but the days are still warm when the sun shines, so it's pleasant to sit outside. You have a whole-ass field where you can just sit? <laughs> we had, like, a courtyard that we could go into, but we didn't have just whole ass field. The field is a nice environment to sit and relax. I like this school. As we open our lunch boxes, I ask with a trace of trepidation. So what was it you wanted to talk to me about? Oh, um, nothing in particular. Uh. I was rather rude to you yesterday, and I didn't want you to think I hated you. Hmm, is that really what this is? So why did you come to this school? She asks, <clears throat> she asks the question, and then takes a bite of her sandwich, watching me unwaveringly as she waits for my answer. Well, my parents moved here from across the country. My dad's got a new job, and so we had to move. They said they appreciated it was an awkward time in the year for me to transfer, but they were sorry. That doesn't quite make sense as a sentence, but I'll take it. Hmm... She leans toward me and asks, But you didn't think your parents say that? But you don't think when your parents say that kind of thing, they can't really be sorry or they wouldn't have done it? I don't know. 
I didn't want to transfer, but I shrug. I'm here now, and I want to make the best of it. I want to get to know people here. That's why I wanted to talk to you yesterday. She does have the decency to look a little embarrassed at that for a moment, and then she asks me intently, What do you hope to do at this school? We sit chatting for a while longer, while we eat our lunch and clouds drift across the autumn sky. Then I track down some of my other class in an effort to talk to the whole of my class. Walking home, I find my thoughts returning to Selena. What is it that motivates her? What gives her that confident, intense look in her eye? I look forward to getting to know the rest of the class, but I find myself looking forward more to talking with Selena again. Still, for tonight, I have homework to do. Thursday comes in, and I'm no closer to ruling the world. Technically, you are. You're one day closer if, like, their machinations are going to be going no matter what you do. Like, you just have to sit back, and you're closer to ruling the world with every passing second. I'm back in school and hoping that today I find out what Takeshi Tanaka is here for. The agency told me that he was an important contact. A conversation yesterday didn't yield anything definite, although it was brimming over with hints and subtle implications. He claims to have just moved to this town because his parents moved, an obvious cover story. He's probably living in a secret hideout of the agency. Or maybe it's his parents that are, like, the people, and they had to move, and her getting to know him is a way to, like, you know, get in to know her, his parents. <laughs> Actually, no. That would be too obvious. He'd be spotted too easily by reporters. He's probably living with a couple of adult agents posing as his parents. His interest in me is another corroborating factor. Although that could simply be for the same natural charisma and attractiveness that the agency chose in me in the first place. He catches my eye as he comes into the classroom. I meet him with a steady gaze, which he returns for a few seconds. At lunchtime, I take the opportunity to talk to him again. So, do you want to have lunch together again? He looks at me. <laughs> Already getting them mixed up. He looks at me, surprised for a moment, and then says, Sure. I take him up to the roof. It's... <laughs> I like how it doesn't even look like a school roof. It's like the roof of the post office in my hometown. <laughs> I guess, to be fair, that used to be a school. I take him up to the roof. It's nice that there's a flat area up at the top of our school with a view of the clock tower and the town where you can go to where you can go at break times. And it's convenient at the moment because if I'm to ask him about the agency, I don't want anyone overhearing us. But it seems like school like the roofs in schools is where everyone goes when they want to have a private conversation. So I just imagine all of the roofs in anime schools constantly being overflowing with students who are all like go away i'm having my private moment here like i'm divulging a secret about the other world get out of here like oh well i'm divulging a secret about that i'm a werewolf you need to get out of here we're in completely different plots when we're up here i turn to face him steadily i decide yesterday I decided yesterday that he wasn't going that if he wasn't going to let me in on his message when I gave him the opportunity to yesterday and the agency had made a point of telling me he was an important contact, I ought to ask him outright. Standing facing him now, it's unexpectedly tempting to back out of it, but I must have courage. So I steel myself, take a deep breath, and ask him, Okay, Takeshi, what is it you've got to tell me? What? The message you have for me. The important matter we have to discuss. What is it? But you were the one who asked me up here. No, not that. The reason the agency sent you to me. I'm sorry, the agency? Oh, would you drop the dumb act? The agency sent you to talk to me, and I want to know what their message is. Oh, she's so up in her head about this. Oh, gosh. It's gonna, it's gonna 100% turn out she's just paranoid. <laughs> I'm sorry, Selena, but you must be mistaken. I really have no idea what you're talking about. And then I suddenly realize just because he's an important contact doesn't mean that he actually knows of the existence of the agency. Wouldn't you know that before? Like, why would they risk you 
outing that kind of information to someone if you didn't already know that so you were just being a mm. this character really isn't very likable for a lot of reasons <laughs> oh no i may have just screwed up badly would you mind telling me what you think i ought to know oh this may be a situation but then the rational part of my brain kicks in that seems <clears throat> that always seems able to take the agency's instructions at the time they seem contradictory or nonsensical and make sense of them. In this case, it points out that he may not know about the agency yet, but he may be able to give me some useful information if he knows a bit more about what could help me. He's seemed sympathetic to my cause so far, and so I say... All right, I'll tell you. Looking around to ensure there's nobody else in earshot, I tell him proudly, I have been chosen to be the future ruler of the world. He doesn't look impressed. In fact, he looks downright skeptical, although he doesn't laugh out loud. Do you really believe that? He peers at my he peers at my face and then continues. You really believe that, don't you? And how are you supposed to become the ruler of the world? What if he's like their counter ruler and they're gonna pit them against each other and the winner is gonna <laughs> The winner gets to be the real ruler? <laughs> they just wanna know who's gonna be the best at it. That's where the agency comes in. They're a secret organization working towards a united world government, and they've chosen me to overrule it all. He is still not looking convinced. Why do you believe this? What evidence do you have that remotely suggests this could be true? Another question I have an easy answer to. They send me messages. What sort of messages? Hidden in the daily paper. It shows how much power they already have that they can affect what's printed to hide messages to me in their articles in the newspaper yes and one of them told and one of them told me that you would be important for my future what information or skills do you have that could help well i might be able to talk you out of this crazy delusion i snort i snort i hardly think that's what the agency had in mind well maybe you should give it some thought and see what role you might have to play in my rise to power now for the moment i'm going to eat my lunch I pick up my food and turn my back on Takeshi, marching over to the edge of the roof. Looking out across town from a high place, I am swept away with emotion. All of these people living their lives, working, playing, and soon I will rule over them all. It's usually a thought that relaxes me and fills me with confidence, yet somehow today I don't feel at ease. I realize with a sinking feeling it's because of the argument with Takeshi. Things felt much better yesterday, after we got chatting down on the school field. Why does this one person have such influence over my emotions? This is frustrating. Maybe I should have another try at talking to him. But when I turn around, he's gone. I hope he's not angry with me. I'm sure he's not angry. I'm sure he's concerned. The afternoon passes without anything remotely of interest to redeem it. I can't concentrate on class. I keep finding myself wondering whether I've offended Takeshi too much. This does seem to bother me more than I'd expect. Although I suppose the agency did point him out to me as a specific contact. Naturally, I'd be concerned if that I'm not to offend someone. Naturally, I'd be concerned that I'm not to offend someone vital to my future, right? What does that mean? Finally, the clock crawls to home time. I announce I anxiously, anxiously, I look at the boy who's been filling my thoughts. Selena. I uh, yes. What's happened to me? I'll see you tomorrow. Surprised and unsure of what to think, I look down and don't answer immediately. By the time I look up to answer, he's gone. He's a ghost. Have a nice day at school, darling. Yes, mother. It's Tuesday morning, a week later. I'm learning to cope with Takeshi. He, at first, he seemed aggressive or pushy, but I think he's just strong-willed. And it occurred to me that strong-willed is how some people might perceive me, too. He gives me a nod as I walk in, which is more than I get from most of the rest of the class. And we'll often chat at lunchtime. I'm getting to know the way he thinks about things. He'd probably say the same about me. I guess we're friends? I'm glad to have come to know him, although I still don't know why the agency told me to make contact with him. We've been looking forward to today and the Tuesday newspaper, in this case, because he still doesn't believe that the message will be there. Whereas, I feel more confident than usual that it will be. Why? Will the agency have an unsurpassed spy network? 
There's no doubt they'll have heard my, my conversations with Takeshi, and so they'll have to make sure to place a message to convince him. I can't wait till school's over. I did have to wait till school was over, but now it finally is. Hello, Selena. Hello, looking forward to being proved wrong. We'll see, shall we go? What's this message likely to be about? Probably you. Me? How can you be so sure? I often have very good instinct for what the agency's message will be. This time, you're the biggest news in my life. You make it sound like we're dating or something. Ooh. That wasn't what I meant. He smiles at me, a warm... <clears throat> he smiles at me, a warm, friendly smile. I know, I was just teasing. Now, about this message. Well, I might be wrong, sometimes they surprise me. There might be even more important news, but my instinct says it'll be you. It was last week. I was in the message last week. Yes, I told you before, it's why I started talking to you in the first place. And I'm glad I did. Did it mention me by name? Um, no, I don't think so. It called you new boy or something like that. Hmm. Here's the shop. Do you want to wait outside? No, I'm going in to get a chocolate bar. Hello, mother. I'm home. I bought a stranger. My mother appears through the door and makes no effort to conceal her surprise at seeing Takeshi. Honestly, aren't I allowed to get to know people? Mother, this is Takeshi Tanaka, a boy from my class. Hello. Hello, Takeshi. She suddenly seems so warm to him and continues more enthusiastically. Welcome to our house, Takeshi. It's been a long time since Selena brought a friend home. We're going upstairs to look through the newspaper together. She giggles. She giggles like one of my classmates. From any number of teenagers, that would sound extremely suspicious, and heaven knows what you might be planning on getting up to. Mother! But I know you do like your Tuesday paper, so I believe you. Have fun. She disappears, and I look at Takeshi, my face flaming. He just seems amused by the whole incident. Shall we have a look for this supposed message of yours, then? Let's see what articles mention the world today. Is that how you know when the message will be there? Yes, it's something that's... It's in something with the word world in the title. Here's a couple, worrying population trends around the world, and has the world gone tennis mad? If it has, then I haven't seen any evidence. You'd think you'd notice if an entire planet got obsessed with tennis. What would it do? What would it, would it put a planet-sized skirt and start leaping around of its orbit? This is a side of him I haven't seen before. Anyway... Right, let me have a look and see what I can find. Just give me a few minutes. I'll read the movies and video games section. Aha! You found one? No, not just... Yes, not just... How did I read that as no? <laughs> yes, not just any message either. Here, in the population article, start at this letter T, read forwards every six, then seven letters. T, T, I. I-K-L? No, no, no. Go six letters on, then seven letters, then six again. Well, pardon me. So it goes T-T has info. Is that it? Yes, it's clearly about you, and it's answering my questions about whether you're really a contact. Er, it is? Of course it is. What's not to see? Calm down. I'm not insulting you. Now, I'm surprised to I'm surprised to see you accept different distances between the letters. Can you just pick out any letters you like? No, of course not. There's always some pattern 757 and 7575 and so on or 1 2 or 235813. Okay, that seems kind of random. Okay, yep. <laughs> Or something, uh, no, maybe it isn't. The Fibonacci sequence, sure. Or things like that. It just seems to me that the text you found is practically meaningless, and you could find any messages you like if you're ready to allow varying distances between the letters. No, that's ridiculous. I disagree. You disagree? Right, my turn. Give me a few minutes, and I'll find you another message. Do you have something you can read in the meantime? I I'll be fine. You're sure? 
Okay then, let's see what else the agency might be wanting to say. Takeshi takes the paper and sits down on the other half of my bed, studying it intently. I sit there, faintly disquieted. I've never tried to explain to anyone else about the agency, so I didn't know how he was going to take it. He's been quite nice about it, but it unsettles me how confident he is that it's all false. He glances expertly back and forth along the articles. I watch him as he does. As he sits there, I take in the curve of his jaw, his slender, dexterous fingers, the soft sky blue of his eyes as he looks up at me. What is it? Oh no, he saw us looking. Hmm. Um, nothing. Would you say Vital Cafe Wukend sounds like a message from the agency? Uh, I hate to admit it, but it does sound kind of like the thing they've got in messages before. It could be. Because that's what you get if you take the letters alternating steps of 4 and 11 in this article. Is British beef the best in the world? Oh, no, that's her. Is British beef best in the world? Hmm, it even has the necessary world in the title. Maybe there were two messages in today's paper, and I might not have spotted it if it weren't for you. Man, you're stubborn. I don't feel as confident as I sound, though. There have been occasions where I've found two messages in the same paper before, but I just don't know what to think anymore. Do you see that there could be hundreds of these messages in one paper? That can't be true. Well, that's my gut reaction. I think about it again. It just doesn't make sense. But Takeshi wants so much for me to believe it. A thought occurs to me. I could tell him I understand, and maybe that'll help me f help to force me to believe it. Or for Takeshi's sake? What should I say? Oh. See, I feel like if we go along the assumption that this is absolutely a delusion, then it's going to turn out that they are real. But if we do, like, just circle the wagons and dig our heels in and be like, no, it's absolutely true then that's when it's going to be a delusion. <laughs> uh, yes, I can see that's true. No, I just don't see it. Mm. I think we're going to we're going to we're going to try to see if maybe we can find some help. Yes, I can see that's true. I say it, willing myself to believe it. You do? Great. I relax a little. He does seem glad to hear me say that. Maybe it'll be all right. So, so you can see that the so-called evidence for your agency doesn't really prove anything. I gulp, but carry on along the path I've chosen. Yes, I guess it doesn't. It's like looking, it's looking like maybe none of what I've heard from the agency was actually real. Or what if, what if it all is real? And he was sent to, like, test our resolve. Because <laughs> that is also a possibility. He's sent to make us think that we're delusional. And then it turns out we aren't. And now that we've done this, they're going to be like, oh, well, if you don't believe us. It seems like old game. I mean, new games, too, also have, like, just a lot of... What a twist! Come on. I don't have to force the hesitation into my voice. Since I'm speaking what I want to believe, it's sobering to realize how far-reaching that is. Come on, Selina. Believe the words you say, for his sake. Good. I'm impressed, Selina. You seem to have seen the important facts here. Maybe I ought to leave you to give this some more thought. I don't want him to go. There's no need for that. I, I like having you here. He looks at me for a moment. Oops. <laughs> he looks at me for a moment and then says with a smile, I suppose I can stay for a bit longer then. So tell me, what do you like to do for fun? Relieved at the conversation moving away from uncomfortable topics, I answer brightly, well, I like to read. A couple, a couple of hours later, I bid him goodbye. Will you be all right to get home? Yes, it's fine. I noticed a bus stop just up the road from here where I can get a bus home from. I take him at his word, because, both because he's a trustworthy kind of character and because I have too much else on my mind at the moment. Okay then, thanks for coming over. It's been an intriguing discussion. He goes to go home and gets kidnapped. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh about something like that, because that's things that happen that aren't horrible. Yes, it has. Goodbye. 
I see him off and then collapse on my bed, thoughts reeling. And, and so the eroding effect of glaciers in mountainous regions is quite different to that flowing, that flowing water. It's been a weird couple of weeks since that conversation with Takeshi. I keep thinking about the agency, how I was so convinced that they were sending me messages, and then I decided to try not to believe that by sheer force of will. Whether I can force myself not to believe in them varies from day to day, and whether I'm around Takeshi. When I'm around him, I can remind myself of why I'm trying to change my beliefs in that way. He's so wonderful. But at other times, I find that it's just impossible to not believe in the agency orchestrating my life to prepare me to rule the world. I've kept trying, because I know Takeshi's worth it. I'm convinced of that, at least. Have your homework ready for next time. Have a good weekend. And the lunchtime bell rings. Hey, Selena. Hi. Look, I've got to go to sports practice. You? Sports? Yes, I'm trying for the football club. I told you last week I was going to. So he did. I ought to remember things people tell me. To forget things like that isn't a good trait in a future... ruler. I don't know whether I can still use that argument to myself. Anyway, I've got to go. But I was wondering, are you doing anything this weekend? Um, no, nothing special. Why? There's this new milkshake, ca milkshake cafe opened in town. Would you like to go see what's there? Maybe, like, on Sunday? Milkshakes? Yes, milkshakes. They bring boys to the yard, you know. Oh shit, did that song even come out at this point in time? <laughs> Sounds good. Excellent. I shall meet you... Shall I meet you at four at the center of the town, then, by the park? Okay. Great. Right, I'm off to play football. See you later. And he's gone. Hmm, a milkshake cafe? Could be good fun. It's not often I have much to look forward to at the weekends other than watching television with my mother. Pucky baby, what are you doing? But this sounds like it'll be a nice time to relax. Oh, I love, I love that comfy shirt. <laughs> But by the time Sunday afternoon comes, though, I'm not feeling that relaxed. It's occurred to me what should have seemed like blind, what should have seemed blindingly obvious, that Takeshi might be seeing this meeting as a date. I don't think the thought would have crossed my mind if it weren't for. Selena, are you ready to see your boyfriend yet? Sigh. My cat is on the counter, and she knows she's not supposed to be. But, like, she's not getting into things. She's just lying there like it's a bed. And I have no idea why she's chosen this space. Also, I love the little design that's on her pant cuffs. It's really... It's so cute. It's so indicative of the time that this was made. <laughs> Mother, I keep telling you, he's... Just a friend. I know, I know. She doesn't sound the slightest bit convinced. I really ought to just ignore her. Anyway, yes, I'm ready now. So you'll be okay if I drop you as far as I can drive in? Yes, that'll be fine. Luckily, the area around the park in the center of town is pedestrianized. Otherwise, I'm sure she would try to drive me right up to Takeshi. She has no shame. And you'll get a bu and you'll get a bus back. Yes, that'll be fine. Thanks for the lift, mother. No problem, my dear. I'm Glad to see you're getting interested in boys at last. I ignore her, ignore her, ignore her. All right, well, better go if you're going to be there by four. Aw, now that she's, like, standing up straight in it, it's even cuter. Like, it looks like it's less cozy and more like it's pretty. But it, I mean, like, it was pretty when it was cozy. But, like, I kind of like, like, big frumpy things that are cozy. They're nice. <laughs> I escape my mother's embarrassing presence and make it to the center of town about on time. I look around for Takeshi by the different entrances to the park. He didn't say which side of the park we should meet at. You feel like... If, if it's a big park, he definitely should have. Because I once was supposed to meet with friends somewhere and the park was like... Well, it, I think it was two separate parks, but it was... A park along the canal and then a park on the other side of the road and I walked all up and down the canal and halfway down one of the trails wondering where I was supposed to meet with these friends and I could not find them and then it turned out they were across the road 
So you've got to specify things because otherwise people are going to get discouraged and leave when you try to start a date with someone on a huge park. And that is advice. It is a pretty place. The trees have turned beautiful shades of red and orange and a thin, thin coating of fallen leaves is strewn across the grass. The air is fresh, the sunlight bright. Boo. Yeah! My throat cannot do that right now. <laughs> I'm drinking tea to try to make my sound happen. I spin around, recognizing the voice that spoke right behind my ear and wishing I had enough self-control to stifle the cry of surprise that escaped my lips a moment ago. Not looking the slightest bit remorseful, he greets me. Good to see you. Y you too. The cafe is over that side. Shall we go? Sure. And we walk off together across the grass. Soon enough, we have to leave the park. The cafe does look fun, though. It's decorated in blue and red with posters and menus advertising their desserts and a huge variety of milkshakes. Takeshi walks confidently in and sits down on a wide seat with a table. I like... I like being with people as confident as I am. It exasperates me when people are weak-willed, but Takeshi's not like that. I look down beside him, and we look at the menu together. Wow, they have chocolate caramel flavor! You like the look you like the look of that one. I nod happily. I was thinking I'd try the apple and cinnamon. That sounds good too. Could I try a bit? Sure. We order we order our extravagant drinks and receive them a couple minutes later. I'm enjoying this time with Takeshi so much, it makes me very happy that he would want to invite me out here. I look around. In the park outside the window, a couple of kids are playing with a dog. Here inside the cafe, people are bustling around. The menu proclaims the five, 35 different flavors. I glance down at the lid, at the list idly, looking at the combinations of letters. And spot that if you take every other one on the list and take the first letter of the of one, the second letter of the next, and so on, it spells light. No, it's not real. I have to tell myself it's not real. But what are the what are the chances of that happening by chance? There are only 35 different lines. I refuse to believe it. I chose for Takeshi's sake that I wouldn't believe it. But it's true. It's just true. There's no way I can deny it. Selena, what's wrong? The agency. It's all true. The agency are here. The agency are everywhere. But you told me that you saw how it was just a coincidence. And I tried to believe it. Oh, Takeshi, I tried. But I just can't change my beliefs like that. I can't change what's true. He is looking concerned, but asks me gently, Why have you suddenly decided to tell me this now? Wildly, I point at the menu, not caring about what other people in the cafe, about the other people in the cafe staring. The menu, the agency have written a word on the menu. It says light. What can that mean? Maybe since it's only five letters, it might not. But it is. I know the way they communicate. I can hear their voice. I can read the messages that nobody else can. Selena, you're getting hysterical. Why don't we go outside? It doesn't matter. Their spies and microphones can hear me just as well in here. Oh, loyal servants in the agency, I'm sorry for trying to pretend you don't exist. I'll be true from here on in. I'll learn what I need in order to be a good queen. I catch my head in my hands and start to sob quietly. I think Takeshi may be talking to the cafe people. I don't care, really. I'm sorry to the agency for spending so long telling myself Takeshi was right. What kind of behavior is that for a future ruler of the world? Selena, let's get you home. At least let's get to the park. I've paid and taken care of things here. Yes, good idea. It wouldn't do to have the people here realize I'm their future ruler. That is, before the appointed time. <laughs> Takeshi helps me walk out of the cafe. It's just as well because my legs seem a little weak from the outburst. It's starting to get dark outside, but although my eyes are swimming with tears, it feels like I can see the world in a new light. At last, I don't have to pretend anymore. I can freely admit to myself every sign of the agency I see. That billboard ad over there by the cafe. Although, it's only got a few words. If you miss out some of the letters, it says, We... L... L... D n and look, on the side of that bus, replace three letters, and it says RULER. Selena, I'll talk to you more at school tomorrow. We can have a chat about this. For the moment, let's get you home. Shouldn't he, like, tell an adult <laughs> if, he's, if he's actually concerned about her? 
Wrapped in my liberated vision of the agency's communication, I barely notice where he's guiding me. Those twigs in that tree, they're spelling my name. Oh yeah, she's absolutely delusional, 100%. It must have been a bus stop because a bus came along, or perhaps the agency saw that I needed a bus and sent one. You can never tell. Takeshi came back with me. I think I heard his voice downstairs talking to my mother, something about psychologists. But I don't mind. If I spend more time with him, the lovely man that he is, then he's sure to realize sooner or later that I'm the future ruler of the world. Oh my gosh, is that the end? There are four different endings. It's completely silent. There's no music. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I do kind of wonder that if you choose to like make things about the other guy if it does turn out to be real or if it is a delusion throughout the whole thing or if they just leave it vague like who knows maybe they think it's a delusion and it turns out it isn't but that was that was this game i did really like it don't stop there, I have a- ooh, I kind of want to know what this is. Return to main menu. Don't stop there, I have a question. I have a question. Oh, hello. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Nazenane Wenai and the how and why of when I rule the world. Tonight we'll be answering viewer questions. Elitus, would you read the first question, please? Oh no, I don't know what voice I should give this guy, because he never showed up. <laughs> I like how his head is so much smaller than the others, because like he is an adult and they are children. <laughs> Why am I the assistant who only reads the letters? Just read it. Fine. Ahem. The first viewer question is, Why does Takeshi have a Japanese name and blonde hair? Uh, well, that's because... Oh, we get to choose these things. I'm Japanese, but I bleach my hair. I'm Western, but my parents are huge fans of a Japanese celebrity called Takeshi. Ah. Why don't... Okay, this will not actually let me choose anything, because it might... Like I said, it won't fit. <laughs> okay, there it goes. Whatever the bottom answer is, I cannot actually reach it. <laughs> But we can at least try to see what it says, perhaps. No, I don't think we can. I straight up cannot see what the last one is. And if I try to, like I said, if I try to resize the screen to full screen so that I can actually read all of it on the one monitor, I can't adjust it on the second monitor to actually fit the screen, the recording screen. So it doesn't quite work. Uh, you know what? We're gonna go with this game is in the anime tradition where Japanese characters can have colored hair with no explanation. Except usually when Japanese characters have blonde hair, it's because they're like half German a lot of the times. Like, it's always German. I don't know why it's always German. It's not always German, but at least in the 90s that was like a really popular thing. That characters were half German constantly. If they have blonde hair at least. So I don't know what the last option that you can barely read at the bottom is, but it could be that. But who knows? We're going to go with it's a game and we can do what we want. What kind of explanation is that? Well, look who's talking. Do you dye your hair blue then, Selena? Uh, I'll explain that another time. Next question. What will it be? Where is the game meant to be set? What's with all the anti-religious allegory? Where was their anti-religious allegory? <laughs> Elitus isn't a normal name. Where did you get your name from? Uh, you know what? Let's go with... Where is this meant to be set? Because I am a little bit confused. Because it... The way the school is set up, it almost seems like it's supposed to be Japan, but not quite. It's like Phoenix Wright, where it's in... <laughs> Someone asked us, where is the game meant to be set? Hmm. 
while we have consistently used British spellings throughout, and that is also something else I noticed, but that's just to have a standard to stick to. It's not meant as an indication of location. The wordplay does require it to be somewhere English-speaking, though. But beyond that, it could be wherever you link. It's not meant to be anywhere specific. Maybe it'll seem very British to some Americans. That's fine. Perhaps I'm living the very street in the very next street from you. Mwahaha! Maybe you ought to look out for messages from the agency, just in case. Uh, Selena. I'm joking. The next question is, how is Zelotus name pronounced? More name questions? Well, actually, that's a good question, Selena. You see, Chrono Luminaire pronounces it l 8 is But Sunkin pronounces it Elitis. Whereas I pronounce it Elitis, which is, after all, the correct way. Okay. <laughs> I guess I accept this. Moving on. I think we've got time for one more question. It says, how did the agency get their name? Well, it had to be made up of words that could reasonably appear in print without arousing suspicion. So that ruled out the Bavarian Illuminati, for example. They were very nearly simply called upwards on Sun Kitten's suggestion as a nod to across the secret association from Exile Saga that's trying to take over the world. I don't like being compared to Exile. I wouldn't mind the Il Palazzo Association. What, getting to sit around all day while girls adoringly hasten me to ev hasten to my every whim? I think I could cope with that. Why you? I'll get you. Ugh, calm down, Selena. I was only... Uh... Looks like that's all the time we've got for. Still, thanks for playing. If you've got any comments or any questions that haven't been answered in tonight's Naze Nane Wenai. And make your voice heard. Good night. Okay, well that was cute. <laughs> Oh, no, we're not done yet. Okay, now we're done. Alright, well that was fun.